One of my favorite movies as a kid was The Matrix. I probably watched the very first episode one a thousand, like a, a hundred times, probably something like that. I had that scene where Neo walks into the main kind of uh, building there and, um, you know, please remove any metallic items you're carrying, keys, loose change. <laughs> I have that down like to a T, every inflection, every, it's just awesome. I, no kidding then, I did I love the next movies and the certain heroes around the Merovingian, the guys that can walk, like that, the guys that can go through walls. For some reason, I think of Murdoch when I think of these guys with blink shots. So this is the video for you if you're wanting a blink shot Murdoch build. <laughs> So, oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The Merovingian, based basically around this blink shot, um, and then just a whole bunch of damage. That's basically it. There isn't life steal just because we have this blink shot. We're going to play it safe and use this blink shot as an escape if necessary. But it's just a high damage, high maneuverability sort of um, sort of Murdoch build. I th I just think that that's a little bit different from kind of what's standard nowadays so and i'm gonna go even differently and play it even more safe in order to get that very high risk build in the end game we're gonna play it safe in the early game with something very different a cast token and a healer token now ladies and gentlemen i feel compelled of all heroes to tell you that i am not an i am not a expert at murdoch at all I really am not. Um, I don't play him as much as I should because he's just so common in today's meta. I don't play him, so please keep that in mind. Uh, there's going to be a lot more, a lot better builds out there, and um, probably just better guides, guys. To, just to be honest, than this. So this is um, fairly. It's going to be a fairly okay build, I hope for you guys. So just keep that in mind. Now the very first ability, or the very first ability I get is probably move along. Just because it's more reliable than your static trap, I find anyways. And it's definitely something that's going to work a little bit better um, in the long run, if, if you ask me. Uh, you can just straight up push somebody away, whereas the, the, the static, static trap, it's you have a tougher time with actually landing it. I like to go with what's safe and I get my move along. What it does is it does a little bit of ability damage, but more importantly, it pushes enemies away. So obviously that's gonna be very key. It's gonna be one of the most important things we get here. I'm actually go, go, gonna go for my buckshot just to hopefully, um, you know, poke down this this uh, this graystone a little bit uh, if, if, if possible. And did he go with a healer, healer token? Yes, he did. So he's gonna have an easy time here. Um, I'm gonna actually try to hit him if I can here, um, simply because I do have that healer token, which will simply, you know, keep us alive if I can get these last hits, um, and they and it'll really actually help us be very aggressive here in this lane. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do: be aggressive and make sure that we maybe win here in this lane. So the Decker here is doing a fantastic job of harassing the snot out of him. But once, once, once he, once uh, she gets her stasis bomb and lands a good stasis bomb, then we're gonna have a good time here. I'm trying to focus on the last hits, but no. Okay. Well, I'm not getting as much last hits as uh, as we need. I'm always trying to think of, you know, when the Stecker's gonna use her, when she's going to use. Oh no! What the deuce is this? Ooh, I hope, hope you guys saw that. There's uh, some leg or something there because that was something else. So just try, like, we're trying to be aggressive because we do have that healer token. So I can, you know, take some hits here. And oh, maybe not that many hits, um, especially with the Kwan coming. Uh, so here in this game, it's actually pretty good. We only have the, we only have the, the enemy Kwong and the enemy Steel. That's gonna have any form of the crowd control. So it's actually pretty good. Um, to push him away and that's exactly why we we get that guys so we can be really quite aggressive here 
in this in this in this early game the healer token i just love it because i mean at this point with all the damage we've been taking we would have definitely had to go back and now we just don't have to we can just stay in this lane be a complete nuisance i can poke the snot out of this klong here and uh be just be just aggressive which i i, I really like here in this early game try to dominate the enemy the enemy laner here i'm gonna do this here for this gray stone he's gonna think twice about this and remember that healer token, as long as we just have time to let it work, we're going to have a really easy time. We're not doing that much damage on the tower, though, which, um, again, guys, I'm not a ranger main. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't spend, I'm not, I don't spend hours every day. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So now that we did get the static trap, what does it do? It, you can... You can throw them out, and it but it takes a, a a a little bit for it to activate. So you have to wait for the actual trap to activate down on the ground, um, and you can only have a certain amount of them out on the battlefield at one time. So max alive one, and you can see that it stays alive for only 90 seconds. So uh, you have an it's a very interesting kind of. Uh, kind of thing so you can't put it down and then rely on it right away you have to put it down and then simply kind of wait for it to be there so this graystone is just freaking the freak out with uh, something because he is i'm trying to be aggressive here um wow that is so weird what is going on hopefully you guys are seeing that because that's absolutely trippy and just ridiculous uh <laughs> I think that I think I've heard of some issues with um I think I've heard of some issues here for Oh my god are you serious with that? What? This is a this is more of a Paragon glitches guide than uh, than anything else. Sorry about that guys. Uh, that's a uh, really actually quite annoying. Um so yeah, at this point guys, we're just trying to Play it safe, get the nice and juicy siege minion, and just try to push this lane, be as aggressive as possible um, here in this lane. So, ladies and gentlemen, once we have, uh, once, well, the fact that I hit this Greystone in the wrong direction, uh, and he's just lagging the frick, oh, just super, super annoying. Um, now that we have our first card, we should be able to really easily here take down this graystone, although, uh, geez, just glitching, oh, that is the most frustrating thing ever, um, okay, uh, now that we have our first card, we, I like to go with the, with the madstone gem, and then your, um, and then your, wow, he gets away, and then your ward, just because you should be able to, you should be able to freely get, your support should be able to cover the ward for you, so you can just simply go and get uh, your... You, sh you should simply be able to go and get the Madstone Gem first, and then get your ward. Just because that extra power right in the early game really, really helps. Even though we went back with 8 card power, so it really did actually work quite nicely. Now that this tower is done, we are going to simply make sure that this lane's pushed in the right direction, and then uh, rotate mid lane to help out our mid laner. Now one thing we uh, forgot to talk about was his ultimate. Long Arm of the Law. It's a pretty badass, pretty badass uh, ability that really enables you to have a global map presence. You can really, really easily uh, take, down, take down the enemy from afar and finish off heroes. So exactly like this here. There we go. I actually hit the Klong, but unfortunately not enough damage to finish him off. So you can get that from across the map really easily. Um, well, not really easily. I have actually a difficult time here. Um, I actually have a difficult time landing pretty much all of them. So I've actually landed two of them so far here in this game, which kind of blows my mind, to be honest with you, because I can hit those worth a damn. So just remember that you have the ability to split push and at least can contribute some damage to to a team fight or um or just kind of finishing people off so he is a great person for that 
uh, for finishing people off that are running away, that are running away low health, just so you can secure some advantages, some team fights, and some of those, um, you know, just some of that, that card power that you very, very much need. So I'm, I don't use the static trap nearly as much as, uh, nearly as much as we probably should. Um, and this probably isn't really the lane for us to be fighting in either, as it's not the safest lane. So what we're going to do here is actually rotate to left lane after we go back and spend some of these card power. All right, here's our Decker getting a little bit, a little bit uh, extended here. Can I finish him off? Oh, ah, not quite. I always, always miss that damn snipe. As it's uh, just not, oh, it's not an ability I seem to uh, synergize with. Again, you need that experience to really be able to uh, finish that off. But here's the Gideon overextending here. Unfortunately, I think that's the end of him. I'm going to put down a trap. But no, that's uh, one overextended Gideon that I don't think we're going to be able to save at all. Uh, but he is he's just taking a, taking a sweet time there um, to die. So here in these team fights, we need to be really careful. I did get our, my blink charm, or my, uh, my, my, uh, the blink shot, uh, just because I, I feel like you need to stay safe. So that was the card that we got here next in that second slot. So we can stay safe and it's also a good aggressive tool as well. It really helps with, with finishing off those, um, those, those kills making those plays happen and just I, I like that idea of playing it a little bit safe now I do have five card power uh, so we can go back here and finish off our next Madstone gem we got a whole bunch of them as you can see here it's just nuts um, really nice boost of boost of power as you know as often as 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 you can it's a wonderful wonderful option for any fury heroes all right, so there's probably going to be some kind of team fight here. There's comes the Klong from behind. So what I'm going to do is actually put this out here and see if I can kind of chew at him. No. All right, so positioning carefully, positioning carefully, uh, just because that is very important for Rangers. But it looks like we uh, just kind of switched one to one here uh, in here in these lanes as they got our right tower as well. Always focus the ranged minions at the back as they are the ones that deal the majority of the damage to your enemy minions, making it possible for them to push farther. Now here's this Kwong. I'm actually not really all that afraid of him for some reason. I do have my Decker, uh, but they do have the Steel, so... Hmm. I'm not that confident in my abilities, but uh, always be spamming the fact that you have your, your ultimate ready here when, when you do, just because uh, allies can kind of somewhat um, rely on that just a little bit here. I'm going to try to shred these guys, make sure that I can kill these minions as much as possible if I can hit my my, my basic attacks here. I uh, don't want that howitzer to hit his thing there. Always be placing wards, which we don't seem to be doing all that well. I'm just on my way left lane, as the enemy has done a good job here uh, pushing these lanes up. There might be a snipe opportunity if they get this howitzer low enough, but no, unfortunately not. And I'm going to take this time maybe to poke down this. No, okay. So that's all, that's all right. We already have five card power. Our next Madstone gem is possible here. But while this, um, while this team here is posturing for a good engagement, I'm going to actually wait before we go back here. Make sure we get these last hits. There we go. Take out these wards. Good. So the enemy twin blast should be rotating here. Now I need to think of playing safe, but also synergizing my buckshot that shreds basic uh, armor with my normal attack. So if we can just kind of get a good moment here where, where I can shred the enemy target and then go into into a good amount of basic attacks there we go perfect juicy oh no the triple the triple snipe was interrupted by the grux pull oh well uh, we tried to make it happen um but alas could not so there is the there should be two there we go 
I'm going to push this Kwong back. Oh, very nicely done. And we waste our snipe, unfortunately. So that uh, is unfortunately going to be a one runaway Kwong from us. The Greystone will be coming as, in as well. So we have to care be careful of that. And let's see. No, okay, he's going back. So I'm going to say on my way left as we quickly head over there. So seven card points. Perfect. And next Madstone Gem is going to be off just... Uh, hunky dory here. One, two, three, and we got to finish this one as well. There is the f there is the early game build, completely done. Four five point madstone gems and the blink shot, just juicy. And the ability to get away, ability to secure kills. We could have maybe actually used our blink shot there uh, to get that Kwong, but I don't think so. Now I'm gonna try to kite these guys a little bit. Um, I don't want to take that much damage, but I do want to get these last hits. At least try to, uh... There we go. There we go. Alright, so maybe that didn't, um... Shouldn't have, uh, lost half my health for that, but... Um... Hey, there you go. So, that was pretty good engagement. Wonder wonderful, um... Wonderful synergy there between the Gideon and our Decker. That was really fantastically done. Really don't have much to say about that. So I'm going to say my ultimate is ready there for the enemy Greystone there in the other lane. Uh, but we got to put down our wards first. And then maybe go over there to help our Greystone. Alright, we are chasing the enemy here. Seeing if we can cause something, but I think we're just going to get collapsed on. I think we're just going to get collapsed on. As our tier two tower is getting a good amount of damage off, so that wasn't that great. Um, I I had I was forced to retreat quite heavily just because the um, just because the enemy was positioned to come and get me. So unfortunately, that didn't really work out. And our tier one again. So hmm, I'm gonna have to say my ultimate is ready here. At least I'll let that graystone know that if he does get the graystone down enough i can you know help him or finish that off that, that is the really one really good thing about murdoch he has somewhat of a global presence um even though i even though i dislike his ultimate quite a bit um yeah so uh we're going to we're actually going to go back actually no this uh this Grex is going to need help i thought that graystone left so let's see here I'm gonna say I'm gonna need help as we're coming in from behind. I'm gonna position aggressively here. This Greystone man with the leg is just ridiculous. What the fuck is this? Sorry for my language, but this is absolutely just stupid. This that's completely just unfair. Wow! Ridiculous! Red his armor here. Yeah, that's one dead. Greystone. Wow, that is absolutely ridiculously unfair. That is so stupid. If anything, if somebody's lagging like that, they should, um, they should be, I don't know. That's, that's pretty ridiculous. Hopefully that, um, sorry for the language. It was, it's, that's just really frustrating. I already suck with my basic attack, so, yeah. Yikes. Alright, here is a... There we go, baby. Finish him off. Uh, I don't land very many of those, so that felt that felt good. That felt real good. Because um, <laughs> I don't land very many of those. Oh boy. So, there, guys, there you go. Uh, you got it. You just got to get a feel for it. That's the only way. Um, that's the only way you can. You can. I just want to get this pushed up in the right direction, and then I can come in and help. Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, let's attack mid lane. We already we have nine CP in the bank, which is gonna work because our next card is is a high CP card. This is the next one is our blast iron, just because we want to go into crit now as much as possible. Now that we do have that, okay, okay. Uh, let's see, can I? Nope. Okay, I should I should I should use my blink shot there. I should use my blink shot. I thought I was maybe gonna get away, but that um. Outs are mine, I didn't see. Damn. So, because we want to go into crit next, because we want to go into crit, want this crit bonus first. And we do have some attack speed already. Uh, but, 
gonna have to go for this so uh, this is a 15 point car do we have enough we have 14 oh so close there we go perfectly timed as we can get this blast harness here for this that's all all of the attack speed we will need for the rest of the game as we can uh, replace these medstone gems with our with the rest of the cards here the spear this rift mage scepter the spear of the rift hunter as well so we have one weaker one but it doesn't have uh it, it doesn't have as much crit so i want to go into crit 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 now that we have this crit bonus so we're going to go into this spear of the rift runner next now that we have seven card points it's going to be very nice to get the spear of the rift hunter uh we want this in the fifth slot there's our wound 48 percent that's going to be really, 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 really nice. Um, that is obviously going to... Now that we're attacking so fast, we want our what, what damage we do deal to be amplified. So um, the more the more we attack, the more... Okay, nope. Nobody came here to help, so... There we go. There's that. And our tier 2 tower is saved. Holy smokes. So there we go. As you guys can see, oh, that's going to be monstrous. Um, I you know, just want to get this moving in the right direction. That should help enough. So now that we, uh, now that they don't have their carry, the only way that they can really turn this around is if they get a good pick on me, which means I just have to play it safe. So uh, let's see here. I'm do that, but I'm going to say nope. Be right back on my way right lane. I think that's a dead tower though. Damn Greystone man. Pushing that pushing that lane way too way too hard. That's a tier two dead for us. Damn. Um a lot of Greystones lately just just split push like beasts and then there's this like I don't know. You just can't give them any respite at all. Or else they completely just I don't know, win by stupid split pushing. <laughs> Do I got what it takes? No. And he had his ultimate, so it would have been a waste anyways. I don't know, guys. I just... I... I really struggle with landing that damn ability, so... Uh, I just need time just time and experience with the ability that's really what it comes down to so as you can see because we are doing so much damage with these crits that is exactly why we want to crit so much why we want crit uh crit chance it we all we of course always want to be attacking um critting for that much damage so that is why um having that much crit is absolutely warranted simply because if crit is going to be so valuable or if 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 we're going to be critting for so much damage oh damn my ultimate i wanted to use my ultimate there but i if i had positioned a little bit better there anticipated that Greystone's um move there i definitely would have that would have been a kill for sure if i had uh, just paid attention there and oh, oh there's two op opportunities there but i didn't i wasn't paying attention so i'm uh i kind of want to go mid, mid lane but or left lane but unfortunately i don't think so let me do this here i don't want to get too bad of a position oh boy uh let's just get the inhibitor here i'm gonna shred this uh oh whoa i'm gonna push this kong away Okay, so there we go, just trying to play it safe, trying to play it safe, anyways, trying, trying, um, Greystone's a perfect, well, one of the better counters for me just because, uh, you just get in my face and any damage against me is damage that sticks because we don't have that life steal, so, alright, so we have 10 card power, go back, um, get more crit chance. All right, let's see what we can do here for this Greystone. Ooh. Oh, and of course I just stick right on him. So I'm gonna actually use my blink shot here. There we go. That's the blink shot. There we got that activated. So there's him going right lane. 
can we get orb prime? Um, I can't, remember? We don't have that. So there we go, there is... There's the end game build, 530, 530, 530, 530, oh, jeez. Crazy, attacking a little bit more than once every second. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, yep, a little bit more than, a little bit more than twice every second, 530 crits. Oh, god, jeez, guys. As long as we can play it safe here. Um, with our with our blink shot play it safe make sure that we can do that damage this is gonna be absolutely insane let's see here no all right so 680 with or prime holy smokes oh my goodness ah I said my ultimate ready here to try help out my teammates there in the left lane um, Oh boy. Yeah, I don't even need this card power. And you know what? We've actually, we, 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 I've made one mistake. There's actually it's only 59 CPs worth. Um, so I, 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 I've, I, I've, 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 I've calculated the math wrong just by one, which would just be go into power, which would really just mean, uh, where is it? This Rift Major Scepter would be three cast instead. It would just be uh, it would just be three three cast one wound instead of what it what it is there. Yeah, three three cast one 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 wound. That's basically just the only difference it would make. Here we go. Okay, nope. Didn't even need to do that. Oh damn! You, you good escapes out of that. There we go. Boo yeah, baby. Boo yeah, baby. There we go. Look at this damage. There we go, baby. Oh, I want to kill these minions first here, just, just just so that we have a few minions. There we go. Oh, baby. Oh, just crazy. Just crazy. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Just crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. Insane. <laughs> it's just insane. What? What? Oh, God. All right, guys, let's go take a look at the build. So here is the build, guys. Archmage just, just structures to minions. Hopefully you're fighting over a tower. Uh, just try to get that siege advantage, which is exactly what you want to do. Cast token, healer token. The other part of why I did this is just to get the equipment slots down. So we need that one equipment slot. And I think that's an okay uh, compromise to make there. So the build, guys, starting off, you do your first card as your Madstone Gem, and then your Guardian's Ward, followed by three more Madstone Gems. Get the Blink Shot kind of whenever you get you want in there. I, I would get it, Madstone Gem, Guardian's Ward, and then the Blink Shot. Uh, because I used it twice to escape there, which I think would have been... which which kind of just fed into the success of this game so i used it twice to escape very much needed there so after you know all those madstone gems the guardian ward and the blink shot then i would suggest going to the blast harness and then this spear of the rift hunter um what we could do is actually mathematically speaking uh i think taking one of these brutal taking one point here and uh, putting it into more power which actually I made that mistake so let's make that fix right now we had one card power left over so there's that rift mage scepter there with the uh, with that three point cast uh, so that that's now at 60 CP um, but even e even this uh, no let's let's leave it there uh, just because this has a lot of CP into damage so that attack speed is definitely warranted after the blast harness and this spear the rift hunter, rift hunter for that wound you are golden then you go into 
probably this Rift Mage Scepter just because it's less CP in total. So uh, you, you can just go into here. And then this Spear of the Rift Hunter for Major Wound and Major Casts. That's the build guide's final build. Blast Harness, Blank Shot, Spear of the Rift Hunter, Spear of the Rift Hunter, Rift Mage Scepter, and Guardians Board. Just crazy. Just crazy. The thing about this build though, there's no pen. There's no pen. So you really have to synergize well with your Buckshot, especially in team fights. Um, only use your Buckshot on heroes that have that base armor. So any tanks, supports, or you could certainly use it on the enemy ranger just because enemy rangers have 48 base armor as well so you can use it on them i would only use it on them casters are super juicy for you to hit so go for casters probably first it's probably i mean target priority but casters first just so you can save that that shred uh for somebody else but obviously use it on the tanks it's gonna get a lot of value there but rangers as well rangers very juicy fighters yeah, you, yeah, obviously you can use it on fighters as well, but tanks, rangers, fighters. So guys, there you go. There's a build. Craziness, craziness in there. The blink shot. Oh, man. I got a good couple, two blink shot uh, clips there. So fantastic. Please let me know what you think about this build down in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Share it with the community. Of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, found it useful. Please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. Till next time, like always, stay optimistic and positive.